Hello kids, Miss Dina here again, and joining us for today's read aloud is Lexi. Lexi is our Yorkie Poo, and she has been in our lives for about two years now. Why is Lexi on my lap? Well, it is storming outside today, and one thing Lexi and I enjoy doing most on a stormy day is cuddling up and reading a book. Today's book is Rise Up, Ordinary Kids with Extraordinary Stories by Amanda Lee, illustrated by Amy Blackwell. I absolutely love this nonfiction book about real children doing amazing things. These children are activists. These children are overcoming obstacles. One thing that these children all have in common is that they never give up, despite what the world brings them. So here is the story of a young girl named Greta Thunberg. Hope you enjoy. Rise Up, Ordinary Kids with Extraordinary Stories. The first page is the table of contents or contents as you might see it. What is so important about the table of contents? Hmm, who remembers? That's right. The table of contents is used to find different sections of the book and what specific page number those sections are. In this case, these are the page numbers for the different stories of extraordinary kids. Here's an introduction of the book. Is there something you've always dreamed of doing but feared it might be impossible? Do you ever wonder how you'd cope if you found yourself in danger? Discover the incredible stories of girls and boys from around the world who have overcome the challenges facing them. They have survived shark attacks, climbed mountains, and escaped avalanches. They are environmentalists, activists, and inventors who are all changing the world one step at a time. Explore the skills and advice that could help you follow in their footsteps and navigate through your own challenges. Learn how to survive extreme circumstances and discover tips for getting your voice heard. Get ready to meet the daredevils, dreamers, and doers who weren't afraid to rise up and achieve their dreams and be inspired to share your own story with the world. Greta Thunberg. The Gutsy Tale of Greta Thunberg from Sweden. Greta shifted around trying to get comfortable on the hard ground. The cobblestones underneath her were cold and rough. People walked by, looking down at her, then glancing at her homemade sign. She had been sitting here alone outside the Swedish parliament building for six hours. It was nearly time to leave, but she would be back again soon. It was Friday, August 20th, 2018. Greta promised herself that she would sit here every single Friday from now on, come rain or shine. She would never give up because there was too much at stake. The future of the world was in peril. She couldn't let climate change be ignored anymore. When she was eight years old, Greta Thunberg learned about climate change and wondered why more wasn't being done about it. Greta and her family did their best to recycle their trash. They were conscious of not wasting water and tried to bike instead of drive. Greta even became a vegan to try and reduce her personal impact on climate change. Then, in the summer of 2018, a scorching heat wave hit Europe and devastating forest fires broke out in Sweden. It was impossible for Greta to overlook this. She knew it had happened because of climate change. Greta was 15 and she realized she had to do something more for her generation and for all generations to come. So she decided to go on strike. She painted a sign on a piece of wood that said, school strike for climate, which means school strike for climate. 
Instead of going to school that day, Greta biked to the parliament building and sat outside. She would make her voice heard. She would make the government and the big companies take notice of her and take urgent action against climate change. That first day, Greta sat alone. On the second day, a few people joined her. Since then, Greta has never been alone. Gradually, thousands of school children from more than a hundred countries around the world have joined her holding their own climate strikes on Fridays. Greta had started a movement known as Fridays for the Future. She has appeared on TV and spread her ideas by giving TED Talks and by speaking at important world events such as the United Nations Climate Change Conference. This is even more of an achievement for Greta as she has Asperger's Syndrome and often finds it difficult to communicate with other people. But she doesn't let this get in the way of her goals. She knows that stopping the effects on climate change is the most important thing in the world. Greta's message is clear. This is the greatest threat that humankind has ever faced, and we need to take action now. Wow, what an amazing story about Greta. Again, this is Greta Thunberg, and she um, is from the country of Sweden. Here are some things you can do. What can you do? Here are some small changes that make a big difference. Don't use a car for short trips. Walk instead. You'll be fitter and it will help the environment at the same time. Always turn the light off when leaving a room. Don't leave TVs and computers on standby. Switch them off. Recycle everything you can and try not to buy things with lots of packaging. To save water, turn off the faucet when brushing your teeth. Take showers and fewer baths. Buy and use less stuff. Ask yourself if you really need something before you buy it. Eat less meat. The farming animals contributes to climate change. Replace some of your meals with vegan alternatives such as oat milk and textured vegetable protein or tofu. What is climate change? Our planet is slowly heating up. The changing climate is making our weather much more extreme. As temperatures rise, some parts of the world are getting wetter while other parts are getting hotter and have droughts. Trees and plants absorb carbon dioxide. When forests are cut down for wood and other products, we have fewer trees to get rid of the carbon dioxide. Climate change is mostly caused by humans. Our cars, planes, homes, factories, and farms use fuel and release gases that trap heat from the sun. If climate change escalates, it will continue to have very serious effects on the future of animals, plants, and humans. How to be an environmental activist. This is what Greta Thunberg was. She was an environmental activist. She went on strike because of climate change, something that happens to our environment. One, get informed. Find out as much as you can about climate change. It causes and its causes and effects. Why not start an eco club at school or with friends? Give your time to the cause. Volunteer and help out in any way you can. Make your voice heard. Share your views that could help to change other people's attitudes. And don't give up. It can take a long time to make a difference, but it will be worth it. Every little bit helps. And here's a quick excerpt on Ixteca Cal Martinez, who just like Greta, is an environmental activist. Um, I will not read the whole thing just because of time purposes, but you may read on your own time and maybe do your own research on Ishteca Cal. But he is from um, the United States of America. And as an early age, he found that protecting the earth is everyone's responsibility. And he does a lot of um, hip hop and rap to get his voice heard. 
and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story about Greta Thunberg, the environmental activist. I know I enjoyed it. Um, to test your knowledge and show what you know, I want you to try to do this anchor chart I'm about to show you. Alrighty, so first start off with drawing a rectangle in the middle of your paper. And where the vertices are, I want you to draw a line, diagonal line. Does it look familiar yet? Remember this? The house is the big idea and where the flowers are they represent details, the key details of the story. Now we are going to be writing about who? The big idea of the story. What was the big idea of the story we just read? Very good. It was the story of Greta Thunberg. Remember, this is a nonfiction story, okay? So you can just say the biography of Greta Thunberg, the tale of the gutsy tale of Greta Thunberg, or the story, uh, or you could have just read, wrote Greta Thunberg, the environmental activist. Now, for your details, what was one main detail, one key detail from this story? Make sure it supports what you wrote here. Now, you're not going to write, oh, Greta was a girl. Yes, she was a girl, but that doesn't really support her story, her cause. So one detail we could say is that she was a what? Very good, an environmental activist. Let me write it in darker. Mental activist. Now I want you to come up with the other key details on your own, okay? Make sure it supports your big idea here. Once you've written this, you'll be able to do your next activity, which is for language arts, it's your writing a letter. This will help you construct your letter because it's going to just give you a recap of what we just read and who Greta was. Great job, boys and girls. You have a wonderful day.